Hello all of my intelligent friends and welcome back to Tea and Lit. In today's video we are going to be continuing on the Dark Academia playlist series. I wonder if I like shifted this way if that would help with the glare because I do want to wear my glasses. Is that helpful at all? No? I feel like it's disturbing me more than it's disturbing you guys. In the comments below let me know if the glasses are bothering you um, so I can move forward and take them off. In the future but they I prefer them anyway that's irrelevant hello all of my intelligent friends and welcome back to tea and lit in today's video is going to be the third installment in the dark academia series where we are sharing a little bit more about how to get into the dark academia aesthetic so the first one was what is dark academia the second one was types of academia aesthetics in case dark academia is not the one you affiliate so closely with um this one is going to be books to get you into the vibe of dark academia they are not really in any particular order at first i was like maybe let's put them in um publication date order but they're just a little bit all over the place so i will tell you the name of the book the author and the publish year so that hopefully you can find it if you're interested um i have read some of these I have a lot of these um, and a great many of them I have not picked up yet but they are definitely on my you know like life TBR of things to pick up. Some of the things to bear in mind with the Dark Academia books is that they are very often um, classic literature and slash or they carry dark themes with them and slash or they um, take place at schools um, or academic institutions or in um, the arts. So those are kind of some of the themes that are pushing through um, these books that are not in any particular order. They're not even separated like at all. I just wrote a bunch of things down. Okay. First up is a favorite book of mine and that is, um, I was just gonna say a Scarlet Letter. That's totally not it. A Study in Scarlet by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. It's part of his Sherlock Holmes series. Um, it is an absolutely phenomenal read. I love everything from the Sherlock Holmes works that Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, A Study in Scarlet was his first book. I don't remember that 100% because I know he wrote the short stories as like newspaper clippings or something. Um, and so am I filming? Oh my gosh. When I do that, can you see my tush in the air? I mean, you won't because I'll edit it out. <laughs> I don't want my tushy in the air. Anyway, uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote that in 1887, so think Victorian England. Um, I seriously love all of the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I think he was, he's one of my favorite writers. Uh, next up is Emma by Jane Austen, which was published in 1815. There's a couple Jane Austen books on here. Um, I have just finished Sense and Sensibility and will be reading this later reading this later, doing a video on this later this afternoon. So um, it may or may not be up. If, if it is, I will post it. Actually, Sense and Sensibility is probably on this list. Oh, no, it's not. Pride and Prejudices. It doesn't matter. Um, next up is Anna Karenina by Leo Toys by Leo Tolstoy. Um, and that was published in 1877. I think that's what that says. I haven't read that one. Uh, it's kind of a thicker book. So I think that's probably why I've been too intimidated to pick it up. I actually don't even have it in my shelf. Next up is The Divine Comedy by Dante, which was published in 1472. I do have the whole of The Divine Comedies. Um, and I talked about that in my uh, classic literature book list. Shared the books that I have on my bookshelf and that was one of them. Um, and I mentioned that that is going to be a Lenten read for me for 2021. Maybe? Hopefully? We'll see. Also by Leo Tolstoy is War and Peace, which he published in 1867. I'd really love to read that. Um, so hopefully we'll get there. My brother's emerging from his room. I think we're safe. Uh, next time is, is Madame Bravery, published in 1856. And the author is Gustav Flaubert? I actually don't know how to pronounce his name. I think he may be French, maybe. Let's Google that before we start saying crazy stuff. Before we start saying crazy things. 
he is French. So I'm not being judgmental. Uh, next up is The Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. Um, and that was not written until 1997. It has a movie that was super popular, but I don't really remember it. Uh, we Were Liars is another modern book that was published in 2013 by E. Lockhart. Next is Beautiful in the Dam by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which is like a modern classic written and published in 1922. Kind of really love F. Scott Fitzgerald. I know that people have like mixed emotions about him, particularly his most famous work, The Great Gatsby, but I kind of love, I love that era of American literature, in case you're wondering. Anyway, next is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I actually haven't read this, but I do think it's not in my shelf. Is it? No, it's not. Uh, but we will get that to we will get that eventually. And that was published in 1911. Next up is Crime and Punishment. And I can never say the author's name. I'm so bad with Russian. Fyder Dostoevsky. Um, and he wrote that in 1866. I have his book notes from the underground notes from underground or something like that, um, that we will that we may get to someday. Uh, I know my brother really, 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 really loved that book. And that's why I ended up buying it. But then I actually never ended up reading it. Uh, next up is Pride and Prejudice, published in 1813, also by Jane Austen, hence my confusion with Sense and Sensibility. The next one is another modern book, published in 1992, The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I have heard that this is like the book of all books for dark academia, and that it's, it's one of those ones that like you just have to read if you feel the aesthetic in your heart at all. So I am looking forward to getting to that eventually. I am on the waiting list for this book from my local library, which is kind of a bummer. Next up is If We Were Liars, which I am working my way through right now. You can see my receipts from my library right there. I'm about halfway-ish through and I have already made some markings. It is actually a very good book. Um, and next up is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. That Oh, did I say when If We Were Villains was published? If We Were Villains was published in 2017. Um, a Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde was published in 1890, and that is our October 2020 read. So if it is out, I will post it down below or up in the iCard. And if it is not out, then please subscribe, and then you can catch it next time. Or you can catch it when we post it. Um, if We Were Villains is also getting a review, in case you wanted to know. Next up is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. That was published in 2019. That's another one of those great dark academia books that uh, everybody seems to say that you have to read. So I don't actually know anything about it other than I think it takes place at a private school. So I'm going to be checking that out. Next is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And that was published in 1847. Again, Victorian era. And I think if I'm not mistaken that is on my list of books that I'm going to be reading for October this year. Next up is The Iliad and the Odyssey by Homer. Two books in one I know I'm kind of cheating here um and they were first put down the first copies that we have available to us are from the 8th century BC. Which is just awesome. I love old books. That's actually the only ones from antiquity, which is kind of a bummer, but um, in terms of on this list, I will have to expand some works from like Aristotle or something. Next up is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. That is also in my Victober TBR. So please check that out if you are interested. Um, and she published that in 1818. Next up within the same, you know, vibe is Dracula by Bram Stoker published in 1897. Next is Withering Heights also by Charlotte Bronte in 1847. Then is Catcher and the Rye by J.D. Salinger or Salinger. I actually don't know how to pronounce the last name. Um, and I saw that that was written in 1951 except the copy I have said it was published in 1945. So I don't know if Mr. Google Pants is wrong but something weird is going on that also has a review and a reading vlog I really didn't care for that book um next up is The Great Gatsby which I did thoroughly enjoy I remember enjoying I don't know if I'll still enjoy it after all these years but uh The Great Gatsby written in 1925 by F. Scott Fitzgerald I never saw the movie but I heard it wasn't that great so in the comments let me know did you think The Great Gatsby movie with Leonardo DiCaprio was any good is it worth watching I don't know 
Uh, next is Vicious by Victoria Schwab. Schwab. There's no R in there. Um, and that was published in 2013. Next is The Dead Poet Society by N.H. Kleinbaum. I had no idea that The Dead Poet Society was a book before it was a movie. I only know of the movie. We will be talking um, in two more videos about movies and TV shows to check out to kind of get into the dark academia aesthetic. So please click subscribe if you want to see that and ding the bell. Next is The Gold Finch by Donna Tartt. Again, this had a recent movie I never saw, um, and that book was published in 2013. Next is Bunny by Mona Awad, uh, published in 2019, so just last year. And this has been popping up all over BookTube right now, and apparently it's, like, really, um, weird. I do totally want to read it, so we'll probably get to it eventually. I don't have an immediate plan for it. I don't even know if it's at my local library, but we'll see how that goes. But it sounds weird. Um, next is The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde, published in 1895. The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo, which is on my uh, bookshelf and will eventually be getting at least a reading a reading vlog and review uh he published that in 1831 next also from victor hugo is les mis and that was published in 1862 that has a loose immediate plan um i know some of the other ladies from booktube are going through les mis over the next several weeks so oh excuse me i'm so sorry that is so undignified i apologize um, so we'll see. I'm super intimidated to read Les Mis because it's five bucks and they're kind of beastie. So we'll see how that goes. And then finally is the Harry Potter series that everybody knows and loves. Um, I think they were first published in 1997. Um, but they are dark and they take place out of school. So they kind of hit a lot of the themes of the dark academia books. So if you are wanting to get into the dark academia vibe and you want to know more about the aesthetic and kind of what moves the aesthetic, um, and, uh, what people who affiliate with dark academia f um, engage with in terms of literature, then these are some of the books that you can get started with. Again, this is just the third in our series. I think it's the third one. Um, and I've got several more planned. So if you are interested in hearing more about dark academia, then please hit the subscribe button and ding the bell. In the comments below, I would love to know which one of these books is your favorite if you've read them um, and what you think of them. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.